loud so we can hear you. Okay, I will. Because awesome. we're getting up there in years. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take that one? You want me to? You can start. I'll start. Well, we always had a real strong lust for cameras and photography. We didn't know what we wanted to do with it, but it was always pulling at us, and we didn't know why. And we'd go to camera conventions and just go, ooh, look, pretty, you know? And um, I've always loved still photography. Um, it was something that I enjoyed doing from junior high school. And um, and I couldn't I couldn't see any way that there would be a, a way to make a living out of it, I guess. The type of photographer we are, we're not wedding shooters, we're not high school senior shooters, we're commercial and corporate shooters, um, which means that we work with marketing and advertising. Um, we do headshots, as Jerry was saying, and um, we do a lot of storytelling, which is um, the part that I just love doing. We've had the incredible fortune of working with people that are pretty recognizable from Jimmy Fallon, Katie Couric, locally Gene Anderson, to a lot of people in the rock and roll world. Um, everybody from Roger Daltrey, who sang a song directly just to Lois, to Alan White, who's the drummer for Yes, and was the drummer for John Lennon on Imagine, and many other signature pieces. People are, are the basis of our photography. It really, they really are. And what we try to do in our photography is bring out the best of who they are, and um, show the people that these people deserve where they are today because mm -hmm. they've worked so hard to get there. And we met in 1974, the very first night we were away from home in Lander Hall, sixth floor. 19, yes, 1974. We met in the elevator and I did weird things that she didn't like, understandably. And so we spent three years avoiding each other. And then in 77, out of the blue, Lois came up, gave me a hug for reasons I've yet to understand, but I'm sure happy about, and that's when magic happened. Well, that's a great question, asking whether it was, there was an official first date or not. There kind of was, but at the same time, once we realized that we were already becoming friends very quickly, we actually did something a little strange, I guess, which was to agree that we're always going to be honest with each other. If something came up that was an issue, then rather than pretending that it didn't exist and say, no, no, nothing's wrong, wrong. yeah, there's something bugging me, I'm just not comfortable talking about it. And that set the groundwork for a very strong friendship right at the very beginning and for clean communication without all of the weirdness that normally shows up when people start lying. And then after that, we did start going on dates, but we were both broken, me much more so, so I got real creative about what a date meant. Um, you want to add to that, sweetheart? Oh, I think our first quote-unquote official date was um, a walk through the Arboretum and a long bus ride to the Spaghetti Factory in downtown Seattle. <laughs> through scary parts of town that we didn't know about, and then having people yell at me going, hey, fuzz face, because I had a beard. <laughs> and back then, beards were rare. So I invited her back to the Jerry Cave, and that would have been the very first date. And then it really kind of accelerated right after that. Love happened pretty quick. <laughs> oh, I was more stubborn. <laughs> I was much more independent, and I couldn't see myself being with any one person for the longest time. So Jerry and I were really engaged for six years before we got married. <laughs> yeah, I should add, we were both independent, both stubborn, had sworn we were never ever going to find the right person ever, that it was a hopeless cat. Uh, thing to even think about. It just sort of happened. Yeah. Nowadays you would use the word organic, I guess. <laughs> organic back then meant a really cool way of growing your vegetables. <laughs> so now we've been married uh, 31 and a half years. Wedding bands have never come off. And uh, even when I've had MRIs done and I had to argue with the technicians, no, it's not a ferrous metal, your big magnet won't mess things up. The ring stays on, and uh, it worked. Inseparable. We never ever backstab each other, ever. We don't ever. believe in negative about people, period. You'll never hear us say negative about anybody, anyhow, but for ourselves, not, ever. Yeah, and, uh, and that's, it's all about the trust and the foundations of having a long relationship is 
um, not just the love, but being able to trust each other, communicating well, and um, having a happy history together because most, most of our memories are happy. And you know, you can never leave somebody if you have a lot of happy memories together. You can add to that, because you said it right, you said it well. Um, relationships, they're not just based on honesty or having fun times. It's when individuals come together as a couple and they learn how to solve problems together. And when they become successful at that, that's the mortar and the bricks. That's what holds everything together. So when you have happy times, wow, they're really significantly happy and you can build on that. And we've learned a long time ago to problem solve together. Yeah. I know this isn't an act. We really do like looking at each other a lot.